Hello viewers, I welcome you all from HLTF Tech channel and today we are going to talk about SharePoint Server Subscription Edition uh, that is the latest edition of Microsoft uh, of uh, SharePoint uh, up till now. <clears throat> this uh, SharePoint Server Subscription Edition was uh, launched in November 21. Uh, before that if we go into the history of uh, SharePoint you uh, you may know that there were many versions that SharePoint uh, continue launching so uh, if you uh, if you think that SharePoint server subscription edition is very much changed from the previous version uh, then uh, as per my experience I will say no not at all because if you uh, when I uh, recently uh, get the SharePoint server subscription edition ISO image I was very excited I uh, installed it in my development environment <clears throat> and I was not uh, even taking a cup of tea uh, break so that I may see what uh, SharePoint is giving uh, in its server subscription edition what extra user interface uh, uh, point of view uh, it was giving but uh, up, uh, up to my surprise it was not giving me much options as compared to SharePoint 2019 environment so uh, I will tell you uh, all of them in later slides so uh, first of all let me tell you that in previous versions as of 2010 2013 and uh, similar versions uh, up till 2019 SharePoint was uh, assigning the licensing procedure licensing procedure it was assigning a license key that was used to install your SharePoint uh, environment whether it is a standard or uh, enterprise version so uh, recently uh, what SharePoint Microsoft has uh, did so has done so uh, it has uh, changed its licensing procedure uh, it has given the SharePoint server subscription to access to all of uh, those members who have valid Microsoft volume licensing membership so if you have the one you can grab your uh, SharePoint server subscription edition software from uh, your volume licensing uh, portal and you can uh, implement it in your development environment to explore the features of SharePoint server subscription edition so if we look uh, what enhancement or what extra features it has given as compared to the previous version that was being uh, used effectively worldwide that was SharePoint 2019. <coughs> so uh, as a developer or as a SharePoint administrator now you have decided to uplift your model and uh, on what reasons you are deciding this way. That uh, big uh, deal that is I'm telling you so first of all it is uh, that uh, authentication and identity management point of view it has enhanced the people picker for modern authentication and similarly it has improved into integrated with win Windows authentication over TLS in SharePoint there are two types of authentication that are being used as you all know if you want to have a custom uh, base application uh, that uh, may reside on the top layer of your SharePoint uh, it may be in your ASP.NET or any other language depending upon your criteria or expertise or uh, availability available resources <clears throat> so uh, that is a, a custom application based authentication is form based authentication but uh, SharePoint basically deals with the Windows authentication over TLS if we consider the deployment and upgrade procedure of server subscription edition Microsoft has given you uh, some facilities or you can say that some extra features or uh, some uh, up to your comfort uh, you can what you can do you can install uh, the SharePoint server subscription edition on Windows Server 2022 or Windows Server Core so if you have a very large environment and you want that uh, your uh, data center uh, virtual machines uh, 
let's say you have a big data center for your organization and you want a very uh, uh, you want that SharePoint server subscription edition environment may support your millions of users then it is always recommended that you install it on a Windows Server Core uh, environment or operating system because here you can dedicate separate cores of your uh, you can say virtual cores or physical cores of your server physical servers to uh, the operating system of uh, operations <clears throat> so this is a uh, vast topic of core deployment I am not going in the details we, uh, I hope so that in my upcoming videos I may cover this portion in detail when I will get time so uh, the next point is uh, it is given the facility that if you have SharePoint 2016 environment you can directly upgrade uh, from 2016 environment to server subscription edition or uh, if you have SharePoint 2019 environment as well you can also uh, upgrade to uh, SharePoint server subscription edition the next thing that is very important I am very happy about this feature that uh, what Microsoft has done it has integrated the app fabric uh, so what is app fabric app fabric is a uh, you can say uh, it's an application that is running uh, that is uh, that was previously when you were installing the previous versions up till 2019 uh, it was mandatory for uh, or you can say it was a prerequisite for installation of SharePoint uh, environment <coughs> because it was an application that was deployed on your operating system and on this application SharePoint used to uh, host it uh, distributed cache service on it so what uh, was the problem if due to any misconfigurations or uh, corrupt files if your app fabric service that was running on your operating system uh, got um, uh, gets uh, malfunction, malfunction uh, your distributed cache will uh, start giving some errors or it will not uh, perform up till uh, up to the your uh, desired expectations of caching so what uh, SharePoint server subscription uh, edition in SharePoint server subscription edition what Microsoft did it integrated the app fabric with its distributed cache service there is no need to install the prerequisite of app fabric now you can you can directly install the sharepoint server subscription edition and it will host the app fabric along with distributed cache service with itself during the installation so that's a good news uh, it may uh, um, because in uh, previous versions you may not you may have noticed or not uh, let me tell you that uh, some distributed cache errors were being generated due to um, what Microsoft did uh, when they were reported with these errors they introduces the uh, updates security updates to resolve that issues but uh, uh, after releasing many updates uh, uh, you know that installing an update on a live environment it's uh, risky if you are working on uh, on-premise environment so what Microsoft has done so it has integrated this facility now coming to the farm administration <clears throat> uh, SharePoint now sports the host header bindings of central administration web application as well previously it was uh, giving the host handle binding facility for its web application that were uh, used that were uh, configured for the user only now it's giving for its central administration web application as well similarly it is also giving the facility of server name indication for host header this is also a good facility if you know about uh, bindings uh, iis bindings internet information system bindings your port assigning then you may have better idea of this thing we are not going into details so uh, the last thing of farm administration is that it is giving an easier alternate access mapping alternate access mapping is very important when you are dealing with the different type of uh, zones you have a extranet zone you have internet zone you have an intranet zone and you want to give your facility or 
your web application access to all of these zones then alternate access mapping is used very soon i'm going to uh, uh, make a, a familiarization video about, about alternate access mapping in my upcoming few uh, videos so stay tuned with my channel for watching this video as well right now we are i am just giving you the concept of alternate access mapping <clears throat> so now uh, one of uh, the major thing that uh, sharepoint has introduced uh, in its health monitoring uh, module it has uh, uh, given you start giving you the notifications regarding your certificates uh, if you have uh, already worked in uh, an uh, on premise environment you may be familiar with the the generation of certificates in your own premise environment you all uh, you you have a certificate authority server that is responsible for issuing the certificates and uh, uh, you you know that these certificates are configured you configured them with your web application sharepoint web application and then you uh, configure it on HTTPS for secure traffic communication between server and users so uh, that was a major flaw uh, in previous SharePoint uh, I, I will not say it's a flaw uh, it was a uh, you can say that uh, it was uh, a shortcoming that was felt by Microsoft that uh, whenever your certificate was going to be expired in near future or uh, already uh, there are certificate that have already been expired you were not given the notifications uh, the SharePoint administrators have to manually check and remember that their certificates will go to will were uh, going to be expired in upcoming future so they had to renew the certificate manually <clears throat> but now uh, SharePoint has given a very exciting feature uh, that uh, the uh, you will be notified in the central administration uh, issues uh, related uh, windows that your up that your certificates that are bind with your websites are going to be expired or have expired that is a very important feature that will caution uh, your sharepoint administrator for any preventive check uh, if required uh, i'm going to tell you one interesting event that uh, i was uh, i had configured a sharepoint environment in one uh, organization and after about three years their manager called me and said uh, that their services are uh, stopped uh, and they don't know what is the cause they're uh, they are extremely surprised and they are troubleshooting the problem so i uh, got to remember that uh, there must be some certificate issue i told them to renew the certificate uh, i told them to go into the uh, certificate details and they saw that the certificate had expired so what they did they uh, renewed the cert certificate attached the new one and the services were resumed so this is very important thing that the microsoft has just uh, considered it in uh, this server subscription edition <coughs> regarding search as you all know that microsoft sharepoint search is uh, very effective and it has a um, you can show it it's one of the strength of sharepoint uh, uh, microsoft sharepoint that its search service is very effective and it gives a very accurate and very uh, advanced type of search in your content <coughs> that is there in the uh, in your websites or content management center so what uh, regarding search sharepoint server subscription edition uh, in microsoft has uh, introduced the modern page of search result whenever you configure a search uh, page uh, up till 2019 sharepoint 2019 the, the page was classic was uh, given in classic view as i have already told you that the classic view is less user friendly as compared to the mo uh, modern <coughs> view so uh, microsoft is uh, giving utmost importance to the increase of uh, user friendly environment or user friendly interfaces of sharepoint so that uh, it may gives uh, it may uh, grabs the interest of more users uh, in its upcoming versions 
so sharepoint has uh, <coughs> microsoft has uh, Enclosed uh, had has include uh, search result page modernization. It's uh, in its uh, server subscription edition. Returning search results are uh, also in modern results page. These pages are uh, more user friendly as compared to the pages that were shown in the classic view up till SharePoint 2019. And uh, now it also gives you a thumbnails as well. Uh, as you all know that. Uh, uh, SharePoint has uh, strength in documents so it will give you results of thumbnails uh, so that uh, you can uh, sort or you can uh, select the best uh, suitable search result uh, using the thumbnails as well <clears throat> so uh, this is uh, about security uh, security I have already covered it uh, some portion in previous so we will quickly go through it uh, it it's give you uh, a SSL certificate management and sports TLS 1.3 as well uh, while creating SharePoint uh, web application it uh, in up till SharePoint 2019 there was no option of uh, configuring or binding the certificate but now SharePoint server subscription edition has introduced this facility you can uh, configure and attach the SSL certificate while creating new web application and uh, now coming towards the site list and libraries <clears throat> it gives you a better interface of document libraries uh, content the content that is placed inside the document libraries whether it's your documents or folders it gives you a better layout uh, for a better user interface uh, this these two points i am going to cover uh, i will uh, take your one minute for uh, guiding you about these points as these points are very important there was a flaw in share uh, uh, i will not say a flaw it will uh, a shortcoming was there in sharepoint 2019 that whenever you used to select multiple uh, folders to be downloaded it could not it uh, the sharepoint 2019 uh, didn't allow you to download those documents for bulk one if you select more than one but if you select a single folder or a single document uh, it could be downloaded but if you select a single file it can be easily downloaded but whenever you select any folder or multiple files it will not allow you to do so let me show you quickly here uh, that uh, what I am saying it's a, uh, my website we have already configured it in previous videos I am going into this and here you are seeing that whenever I will click select this it's giving me the option of download but whenever I will select multiple files you know the download option has been vanished or in other words it will not allow me to download multiple files at once similarly if I create new folder here and if I select it it will not allow me to download this so this was a shortcoming that it uh, in SharePoint 2019 environment the SharePoint was uh, not allowing you to uh, download uh, a folder or multiple files this uh, was a shortcoming and uh, wherever I uh, configured the the SharePoint 2019 environment <coughs> this was the major uh, requirement of the users so thanks to Microsoft that it has addressed this option in SharePoint Server Subscription Edition. Uh, now you can download and uh, you can check in out or you can download multiple files and folders at once. So this was all about uh, SharePoint Server Subscription Edition. Very soon I am going to tell you about how to uh, install SharePoint Server Subscription Edition in your on-premise environment. I've already done so in my development environment and very soon I'm going to share my experience with you. Uh, uh, if you have any query regarding uh, my previous videos or this video, please uh, leave a comment so that I may help you. I may uh, guide you uh, up to my best and uh, I also request you at last to subscribe my channel and keep watching my videos. I thank you all.